Okay, we're going to do the looping exercises from looping number one down to number seven. So let's start with number one. Notice that we want to make a main program and where the input's done through the main program and then we'll do the actual work with the function. So start number one, which asks the user for two integer values and then goes through and loops through those values from the lowest to the highest. So let's bring up Emacs. We'll bring up uh, looping. And let me make a directory here for us. Looping Python. And then I'll open that up. There we go. And uh, let's do number one. I'll call it just prog1.py. Okay, so remember we always put our name up top. And then let's get started. So we're going to make a program that was going to be called. We'll just call it range. Loop range. Loop range from the low to the high. And I'm not sure what it should do right now, so I'm just going to have it print the value 0. Our main program below. Then what we need to do is we need to ask the user for two values. So let's uh, ask for the low value. I'm going to input, enter the smaller. Oh, what did I actually write? Let's just copy paste that there. That will be easier. Input. There we go. And since uh, everything that's input in Python is a string, we want to automatically convert that to an integer and just assume that's all going to work. So let's uh, put in the high one now, and we want it to say enter a value greater than or equal to and the number that they already put in. So that's a little bit tricky. But let's see how we do that. Value, enter this. Oops, sorry. Copy and then paste or equal to, and then we need to print the string value of that other number. That other number was low. And then I'll add an extra there. And that should be good. So I'm going to just try right away and make sure that runs. So let's uh, switch to looping Python. And we're going to run Python 3 on and one to pi. Gonna syntax error, line nine, in the file. Looks like I missed a parentheses. There we go. The small value four and it says enter a bigger value. Looks good, right? So let's do go on to the next one. Now the trick is we want to check that the high value is actually bigger than this low value. So the idea is we're going to actually ask the user the high value and then we're going to check and if it's not bigger or equal than the low value we're going to keep asking them. So that sounds like a loop. We want to loop and to continue asking them for the value while the high is less than the low. So what do we want to do? Well we're just going to ask it again, right? So we'll do this. Int high is enter the low value and we'll uh, just keep asking. So we might want to do an extra piece here. Print, please enter a higher value. Enter number, and that should work. And then it will keep asking until we get them a larger number. Let's check that before we go on. Let's enter, say, 6, and then what happens if we enter 5? Well, it complains. And we'll enter 3, and it still complains. And we'll enter 2, and it still complains. If we enter 6, it stops. Why does it stop? Because it wants something that's bigger than or equal to. Um, I'm going to put an extra print here just because I want it to look a little nicer. Let's try that. 5, 6. Oops. Try again. 5, 3, tells us again, it's 2, 7, okay, that looks good. 
Now what do we want to do? Well, we actually want to call the loop range function between the low and the high. Notice that this low and this high right here are the same values as up here, but they don't have to be. It doesn't really matter. We could use low and h, l and h, but we don't like variables that are only one letter. So let's call loop range from low to high, and it's going to its job is to print a range from low to high. Let's see that it actually works. And I'll do from 1 to 10, and it just prints 0, which is not what we want. What do we want it to actually print? We want to print 1, and then 2, and then all the way to 10. Well, since we want to repeat something, we're going to use a loop. And it makes sense to use a for loop here, because we're going from a value to a value. So we're going from the low to the high, one by one. If we're going to print 0, we're going to print that x. So just like a mathematical formula, we're going from x, going from low to high, then we're going to print x. Makes sense? Let's try it out. Oops. I'm missing an in there, aren't I? There we go. So we're going to go from 3 to 6. And what's going to happen? 3, 4, 5. It didn't print out the 6. And you're wondering why. Well, it's because in Python, it inclusively in uses this value in the range, and the right side, or the ending value, is, is excluded. So one way we can fix it is by going to high plus 1, which means it actually just goes to high, but not to high plus 1. So let's go from 3 to 6, and we'll notice it prints out 3, 4, 5, 6, which looks like is what we wanted. So I'm going to shut the video off there, and that's program number 1. Stay tuned for program number two.